What's up, Gundam Mites? This is your boy, Black Seal, here with a, uh, another custom, customized P Bandai exclusive F Straight Gold Frame. So, uh, let's take a look at him. Let's, um, just take a look at, ooh, take a look at that barrel right there, huh? You like to see that? In your face. First, see what we got. Okay, everything looks all right so far. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, she gun. All right, she has a beam gun, beam rifle. See what else we got here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold up. We can turn it. What? We can boost it back. Okay, so here's the deal. P Bandai, a straight gold frame. RG. So I went ahead. All I did was I didn't do anything super official to the um, body for the for most of the MGs are not MGs. Most of the RG scales that I get are usually the body alone. I usually don't do any kind of alteration to the body. So this one was just a uh, put this one together, do a different paint job with it. The um, the color on the regular armor it is initially white, but it's not white. It's like a kind of aircraft kind of grayish kind of color. So aircraft aircraft kind of grayish kind of color it looks nice. Went ahead and did other colors and stuff on it. I think it might be two different tones. Yeah, I think there's two different tones. So there's a light aircraft gray uh, aircraft grayish kind of color, and there's another color that's. Um, Think like a kind of like a bluish kind of color, so we got some uh, <coughs> rusting effects going on here, bleed, bleeding rust. We've got uh, let's look at the shield. The shield's got the Japanese symbol on it. So we've got so we uh, went ahead, put together, weathered it, painted most of the um, gold, different kind of color, uh, different kind of gold. So we don't want to go with the gold that comes with the the uh, unit. Because uh, the gold that comes with the kit, of course, sucks, looks fake. I mean, it's just horrible gold-looking color. So majority of these you have to paint. Like if you get the uh, other gold frame, uh, Amusa or whatever it's called, Mina, then you got to paint that one. You got to also paint that one gold. So unless it's gold coated, it's a different story. If it's just gold plastic, majority of the time you got to paint. Uh, you, you you have to paint over it with gold. It looks a lot better. Some people are just ready to snap it, you know, they don't give a care. So, frame, just the same. Nothing much to say about the frame. Everything, frame, shield's the same. Uh, except for, uh, I, I, I did um, put stripes on the shield. I'm trying to get better at my painting, trying to add a little bit of something to it. I'm not the best at painting. So, did add stripes to the shield. The gun, uh, this, this bazooka gun, uh, it looks look, look, look like a bazooka gun to me. This bazooka gun, I tried to add the effect that, um, like, like this gun, like a plasma gun. I don't know how good this looks to you. I think I did an okay job. So this is the plasma effect on the gun that I did. And of course, took some weathering, took some weathering material and just weathered the rest of it to bring out definition on the gun, on this bazooka. So, frame, it's nothing special. It's just regular. Colors change. The variation of the colors. Now, here's the, where the meat and potatoes come in. We did not use their pack. No, we did not use their pack. So, here's what we did. You see this here? The first one. 
this here is a R is a RG RX 178 pack right here this one is this is the RG or this is the this is the RG RX 178 pack so that's what this pack is the pack in front of this this one here see if you can look under it look at this this looks so nice let's just let's stick this here eight boosters so instead of putting that little wimpy ass pack that came with this uh gold frame straight we boosted this guy up we got two f freaking rg packs so we got the rg pack from the unicorn which came out uh early last year and we got the rg pack from the uh rx178 Mark II. We we combined those packs to get eight boosters, four from the Mark II, four from the Unicorn. So we, we combined both those packs together. After we combined both of those packs, we end up adding, drilling a hole on top of the um, MK2 pack, and adding this here. Now this is from a uh, frame arm kit. A frame arm, matter of fact, it's from an MSG weapon. Not even a frame arm kit. It's from a, it's from an MSG uh, one that has wings. It turns to wings, it turns to guns, all that crap. So th this piece comes from there. This piece here comes from a, another kit. I want to say this also comes from. This may come from. I don't know what the kit this comes from. This might come from the booster set, from the MSG booster set. So this this might come from the MSG booster set, and this comes from the MSG kit that has the uh, wings to it. It, it turns with the gun and all that kind of stuff. Of course, these are little. Uh, then I added this, added this little part here. Added this. These are just uh, and that added this part here to go into here. This piece came with this kit. This is the kit that Bandai brought out for the HG Magnum 2 kit for the Builder series. I was going to turn it, but I don't need to turn it. Or I, I, I don't need to turn him. I can turn it, so I just turned it. So here's what we did. We couldn't. I couldn't put everything in. I, I couldn't put everything on here that I wanted to. So that's what we did. What I did do. Let me bow down. So I can bow down too. Look at that. So what I did do is I weathered it, scratched it up, rust marks. Look at this. Looks nice, doesn't it? Rust marks, scratched it up. Rust, rust marks, scratched it up. So here's what we. So here's what we initially got. Let's let's put it up so you can see it. So let's put it up. So we got a gun here, a beam cannon here, beam cannon here, and this, of course, this right here launches a. Uh, I like. I would like to think of this more like the weapon from uh, Gundam Wing, that that uh, like a Buster rifle more. That's how I would like to look at it because it looks like a because it looks like a Buster rifle. In a way, it looks like a Buster rifle, but it has a javelin in the middle of it. it has like a um, see if I can get it. So I see if you can get it. Yeah, see, it has a javelin in the middle of it, so it fires the javelin off for for um, you know harpoon the hell out harpoon the hell out of a mobile suit or Gundam, whatever it is that you you seem to whatever it is that he he seems to be in combat with. So it'll harpoon the shit out of them. So here's what we got. We got this, we we also got these missile launchers up here. Three. Big ass missiles. Three big ass missiles. I mean, these are some nice missiles. See, these right here will do some damage to you. Like these things hit you, they'll fuck you up real bad, real bad. Like fuck you up, no, like real bad. So that's that's what we got here. So he has bazooka on the regular mobile suit. Our chest a Gundam. We also have this. We also have a machine gun. We have two swords. On the Mark II pack, we can also put two swords on the uh, Unicorn pack, and 
if we want to, let me show you, because I want to show you this, because I just thought of it, because I thought of it, pretty cool. So if we want to, we can show, this is the fire mode. When it's, when it's, when it's facing forward, fire mode. But what if we were, what if we just got fucking creative here and just went like this and just turned it around? And now, when we turn it around, and you see the mobile suit, the back, if you see the mobile suit, the back, it, the, the front of it looks like you can still fire the missiles out of. So if we turn it this way, these right here, are, these right here are turbines, of course. Turbine engines running these boosters in the back. Still got these missiles firing. If we want to, we can turn this around and still have this. Uh, we can turn this spike around and still have this fire in the javelin. So, in all, these little small little, these little small thrusters right here, thruster, what's this? Thruster, thruster. Over here, thruster. So we have four thrusters. So we have four small thrusters. We have the eight boosters. And then if we turn this around and say that we just want to, and, and, and say that we don't even care about it, it, we don't even care about the firepower right now. But if we turn it around, use these as two more boosters. Because look, it looks like you can use them as boosters anyway. It, it, it kind of looks, it reminds me of the, of the tall Gs. The uh, Talgis booster pack in a way. So we can still use these as a booster. We can use these as the weapons, of course. And still be good. So total, it'd be eight boosters plus these two, ten boosters, and four thrusters. Which means, guys, that he's moving fast. In and out, zipping, whipping, and dipping. In combat, just, just anything and everything is just getting squashed. Just, just beating them silly, crushing them. Now the reason I went with this is because you know C, you know Gundam C, you know Gundam Destiny C, you know how their Gundams get down in there. Now, Strike had a booster. Now, Strike Gundam had a booster pack. The I want to say the Impulse. I want to say Impulse and Gundam, I think they might have had a booster pack. Destiny has a booster pack. Justice has a booster pack. Rogue has a booster pack. We know Freedom and Strike Freedom have a booster pack. So, every last one of those Gundams have booster packs. And they come in, a, some of them, most of them come in the shame, the, uh, most of them come in the form of an airplane. Or, or a uh, you know a s small aircraft that comes in as their booster pack. So how can I not give him something that looks like a small plane in a way as a booster pack or as a weapon system? That was the whole purpose behind this build to give him a booster pack like the rest of them have, not no little small little. <laughs> Universal Sentry Pack. They, they, they gave him a small Universal Sentry Pack. What the hell is a Gundam from Gundam C doing with a mobile, is doing with a Universal Sentry Booster Pack? We don't want to see that shit. We don't want to see no Universal Sentry Booster Pack on a goddamn Gundam C Gundam or Mobile Suit. We don't want to see that. Get the fuck out of here. We don't want to see that at all. We don't want it. So this is the alternative. Go big or go home. So, hope you guys liked it. Hope this inspires some of you of you guys to try new and different things with your build. Of course, the hardest thing here on this, the hardest thing on here, of course, was putting the backpack on. Was was trying to find a way to mount this backpack, this this booster pack. The hardest was trying. To, these two I had already mounted because I was gonna I was gonna use those for the Mark II's that I did. I was like, nah, scrapped it and went with something bigger and better. <coughs> so mounting these two was easy. Trying to find a connection between here 
the, the, between here and this was difficult. But it came together at the end. So this is the hardest part of it. Now, two things that I didn't like about this kit. One is that I didn't like, I don't like, oh no, help, he's going to fall, he's going to die, the stand, now the stand was a play, okay, stand was a, hey guys, stand's pissed off, leave stand alone, he's a person too, so, thing that I don't like, the joint movement in between the legs, the joint movement on the legs could be better, in my opinion. Joint movement on the legs could be better, in my opinion. Didn't like it. I didn't like the joint movement of the legs. I, I can't stand it. So that's one. Another is the, uh, where is it at? Where is it at? This here. The shoulder joint. The shoulder joint was horrible. This this here, this piece here, mounting this this piece to the arm and stuff in between here, this piece was horrible. It made no sense. It was stupid. I didn't like it at all. I hated it. It could have been better designed, engineered, whatever the hell you want to call it. Could have been better. This piece here, put these pieces on, suck. And the way these legs move, suck. And so far, I've had one of the pegs break off on the sword. The sword hand, I had one of the pegs break off. So... One of the pegs break off to it. So, I'm not, uh, not that happy about that either. I used um, rust on the hands too. So, after I put the gold on when I was weathering, I put rust, the rust effect on with a little bit of water. It just helped the rust kind of stick and bleed down into the cracks in the board. Like the scroll was kind of changing color from battle and all that kind of stuff. You know, getting worn. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you like. And, uh, Check me out on my next project. Adios, Gunnamites. My mission is finished. I will leave the rest to the next generation. Now that you've tasted victory, I'm sure you'll be back. Thank you, d -d thank you, thank you, thank you, d -d thank you.